Alright, hi everyone! Veronica here again. Another day, another video. But first of all, kawai-kawai muna sa tatlong viewers ng channel ko. Maraming maraming salamat. Uh, minsan, lagay niyo yung name sa comment section para mabati ko naman kayo, di ba? Okay, so today, pag-uusapan natin all about competence assessment program. Alright? Okay, so dun sa last nating conversation and sa last video ko, um, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, yung last step sa step 3 is yung competency assessment program. Um, so, ano nga ba itong competency assessment program na ito? Dahil sa mahilig ako sa mga flowchart at mga um, worksheets, so may ginawa na naman ako another flowchart. Alam niyo naman ako medyo ok, -ok di ba? So, if punta kayo sa Facebook page ko, Binibining Veronica, Tignan nyo yung mga photos doon. Tapos, click nyo lang itong 3.7 um, Competence Assessment Program. Okay. So, magsimula tayo dun sa part na na-receive nyo na yung letter from um, Nursing Council New Zealand. So, normally, um, after mo masubmit lahat ng documents mo, tapos okay naman yung ICH, okay yung everything, ang content ng letter, sabihin lang nila, for example, Dear Jessica, I am pleased to advise that all preliminary documentation related to their application, blah, 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 is okay naman, um, blah, blah, blah. Prior to registration, you are required to complete a competence assessment um, program. So, information about CAP. Who is it for? So, it's for internationally internationally qualified nurses. So, yun yung mga nurses na nag-aral at saka nakapasa ng license from other countries other than um, New Zealand and Australia. Tapos, it's also for New Zealand nurses na hindi nakapag-practice ng nursing for the last 5 years. So, pag nag, uh, once nasa CAP na kayo, maaring magulat kayo na yung ibang mga classmate nyo is nag-aral naman ng nursing sa New Zealand or New Zealand nurse naman but they have to do CAP kasi nga, natigil yung practice nila for more than 5 years. Okay? Tapos, meron ako maliit na notes dito. Um, Siyempre, may mga ibang exemption to the rules. Um, pag pumunta kayo sa mga Facebook page sa mga Pinoy nurses here in New Zealand, makikita niyo yung iba, hindi cap yung requirements sa kanila. Maari kasi na malaki na yung, ah, malaki talaga. Maari kasi na yung experience nila is very good. So, they don't really have to go through the bridging program. Pero meron silang certain conditions pa rin na they have to meet. Okay? So, I suppose it's just good to know. So, who provides the program? So, it's usually a collaboration between service providers and tertiary organizers. So, ang DHB, ibig sabihin niyan, District Health Board. Tapos, um, yun yung katambas natin, government hospitals, public hospitals. Pwede rin non-DHB, yung uh, private sector, for example, rest homes or mga private, private surgical facilities. And then, yung collaboration nila is with universities or politics. So, yun yung mga schools. Uh, what is the program like? So, just keep in mind na yung duration at ang bayad sa CAP can be different depending kung anong school yung pag enrollan mo. Pero, on its core, merong tatlong elements na pare-parehas kahit sa ang school ka pa ng New Zealand mag-aral. Okay? So, yung first is assessment of knowledge. So, ang included dyan would be nursing theories, nursing concept, kagaya, for example, ng drug calculation. And then, there will be topics specific to nursing sa New Zealand. For example, Treaty of Waitangi, Cultural Safety, um, Code of Conduct, Legislation. So, yun yung mga included dun sa assessment of knowledge. Okay, and then for assessment of clinical practice, dalawang component yan. Isang simulation and then isang real clinical um, setting. So, um, magkaharon kayo as part of your program, tinatawag nyo dito OSCE or sa atin, um, return de demonstration, so parang let them. Tapos, yun nga, clinical placement mo sa actual na ward or pwedeng rest home facility. Um, so, basically, yung program, hati yun sa dalawa. Weeks allotted for your didactics, and then weeks allotted for your R RLE or clinical placement. And then finally, you'll be asked to complete a competence assessment form. Ito yung pinaka-importante sa lahat. Kasi magko-provide ka ng um, evidence na na-meet mo yung um, nursing domains ng um, New Zealand. And then, isasubmit mo yun sa, oh sorry, 
And then, uh, magpo-provide ng evidence yung preceptor mo na oo nga, na-meet mo nga yung mga competencies, and then sasubmit nila yun sa nursing council. Okay? So, just to give you an idea, if pumunta kayo sa uh, website ng nursing council, meron dong list ng mga approved um, tertiary providers. So, ayan. Mahaba yung listahan. O, ba? So, that is valid. Last updated noong July 2019. Tapos, kung gusto nyo naman, um, dahil marami pa akong free time, Pwede ko kayong itour. So, pupunta tayo sa iba-ibang website ng school, no? Um, wala, walang sponsor dito, ha? Um, out of curiosity lang, um, silipin natin kung ano mga um, information na provided nila. So, itong school na to, Toy Ohomai, um, actually, dito, dito ako nag-cap um, before. but ang name niyan dati, ano, um, Moyeriki? So, ngayon, 12 weeks na yung course nila. Tapos, wala yung fee for international students. So, I think you're better off asking them. Just send them an email. And then, ito namang isa pang school. I think this one is Otago Politics. Sila naman, tikita mo, 8 to 9 weeks naman sila. Um, tapos, andyan lang yung mga entry requirements. Diba? Silipin nyo lang. And then, finally, yung isa pang school is yung ARA Institute. At least sila, di ba, may presyo. 6,720 yung cap course nila. Tapos, makikita nyo rin kung kailan yung intake. Pag sinabing intake, yun yung enrollment. Uh, kung kailan mag-start yung study. Okay? Tapos, if you're still um, sa process ng researching your schools for cap, I also created a printable worksheet. Wala lang. Tami ko kasi yung free time. Okay, so punta lang tayo ulit doon sa... Um, photo sections, tapos punta tayo sa planners, worksheets, and research tools. Uh, okay, so ito yung, um, pwede yung printable na file. I think this one is in a uh, JPEG format, but I can also send you PDF if you guys are in interested. So, ayan lang, lagay nyo lang yung name ng um, name ng provider, tapos kung kailan yung Contact, ah, sorry, ano yung contact details nila, kailan yung next enrollment, magkano yung fees, gano'ng katagal yung cap. Tapos yun nga, syempre, you'll make multiple contacts with them. Yung initial, magkatanong kayo kung tumatanggap pa sila ng intake this year, can they consider your application. Tapos syempre, you'd like to follow up. Tapos your notes as well. Kasi may mga ibang provider na strict sila sa... Um, English proficiency test. So, di ba, for example, sa nursing council website, sabi naman doon, you can combine your scores basta um, 12 months, within 12 months yung, yung tinake mong exam. But, other um, universities, very strict sila na gusto nila one take lang. So, ayun. So, ve very good to do your research kahit na siguro way before ka pa mag-submit um, sa nursing council just to have a general information kung ano ba yung entry requirements nila. Like, yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, di ba? Bawat school may entry requirements. So, I think you can start researching um, those information, di ba? As part of your general um, collection of information sa plan nyo to go to New Zealand. Yun. And then, finally, ipakita ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung ibig kong sabihin by the competence assessment form. So, ito yung kailangan nyong i-fill up at saka kailangan i-fill up din ng preceptor nyo. So, sa nursing competencies dito sa New Zealand, merong four domains. Yung professional responsibility, management of nursing care, interpersonal relationships, interprofessional healthcare and quality improvement. Tapos, may last page doon about English language proficiency. So, yung preceptor mo or sa atin, clinical instructor, sila yung mag-fill up ng information na to about your English, la English language proficiency. Tapos, ano dyan yung mga indicators or example kung paano mo i-prove yung uh, nanamit mo yung competency na yun. Tapos, itong document na to, available din to sa nursing council. Pero, as always, if mahirapan kayo, hanapin kung nasan yan, message nyo lang ako or comment lang kayo below and then, isend ko sa inyo. O, di ba? Um, and then, I'm not sure if you guys are interested to see a video about competency assessment um, forms at saka kung ano yung pwedeng mga example dyan sa mga um, nursing domains na yan. And ngayon pa lang, um, 
ang suggestion ko is mahalin niyo na yung mga yung nursing domains kasi bilang um, New Zealand nurse ano yan parte yan ng ating buhay um, especially kung nasa district health board ka tapos meron kang PDRP um, siguro pag-usapan natin yun another video na naman um, anyway if you are completing a PDRP importante rin na alam mo kung kung paano uh, ma-provide ng examples for that or if randomly ma-audit ka ng nursing council you also provide you have to provide na na-meet mo yung competencies um, and you have to give out examples as well. So, anyway, yun lang muna for now. Um, sana meron kayong natutunan dito sa video na ito. As always, I wish you all the best with your journey. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye!